Hey guys, welcome to Digital Trade YouTube channel. And in this video, I'll be talking about a method by which you can find contact details of all the startup uh, founders um, uh, from the Crunchbase. Uh, so for this, we are going to use two tools. Uh, one, one is Crunchbase and the other is Apollo.io. Apollo.io is a tool that helps you find contact details of people. And Crunchbase is something that you can use to find startup um, uh, startups latest startups uh, depending on how much funding they are received uh, their location and all those filters uh, uh, that is available uh, so let us go to my screen and i will show you how you can use crunchbase and uh, other tool like apollo to find contact details um, so let's go to my screen So right now on the Crunchbase, you can see that they have a plan of $49 per month, uh, which you require, which you do not require. They have a free uh, pro plan on their, uh, on their website. So you can use that. Um, they, they give you a pro version. You can use their pro version for seven days. So I think that is enough for a small project. Uh, but if you like to, if it's, it's a big project, then you can also go for their plan. But it is always a free to start right and the main thing is like they do not have contact availability right they have very less contact availability you can see only you can find 10 contact details um, per month so that is very limiting feature that i think it is so to overcome this um, i have discovered one thing uh, that i'm going to talk about now so first you will require a free version of um, crunchbase and the other thing that you will require is um, Apollo.io uh, um, Apollo plan. So with this plan, you can find right now they have a professional plan at $19. But again, this plan price may change to $49. But I think it, uh, you, it is still worth it, right? With this uh, plan, you can find up to 10,000 contact details, right? So I think that is very much right and it is worth it. So all their contacts are verified for bounce rate so the quality is very good so you can use this so the only cost that you will require is this um, 19 dollars or if, if it may change in the future to 49 dollars so that you will require uh, and the crunch based uh, free version you will require right so now let me sign into my uh, crunch base account Okay, so now we are on our dashboard of Crunchbase. Uh, so what I will do is I will just do a quick company research uh, or startup research as you may say. So as you can see, I have, uh, I'm trying to find the contact details or startups of United States um, that are having employees up to 500 or 1000 up to you uh, that are founded in the past year. Uh, and you can apply those filter as per your requirements so definitely if you're watching this video i expect that you are familiar with crunchbase if you are not then yeah you have to explore more and learn about it so it's very simple mm -hmm. on the left hand side all the filters that you are there that are available that you can use to you know target specific field uh, startups based on your requirements uh, so that is what I'm doing right now so I want startups that are private uh, that are active uh, that means some startup may be closed so I don't want startup that are closed uh, I want startup for profit I don't want non-profit startups mm. so this is all the filters that I applied um, you are free to explore uh, as per your requirement so once you have the um, startups as per your choice and suppose these are all the startups that I got I got like one one eight thousand results uh, now what I want is what I want is I want the founders of all these startups or key decision makers of these startups right so how I am going to find because Crunchbase limits you right it does not allow you to find a lot of uh, startups it only allows you to find 10 contact details and if you go for their uh, higher plan like enterprise plan then they they are very expensive right so what my plan is like suppose you got a startup now you can apply the filters that you want first what you do is apply the filter suppose you want a foundation date you can do is ascending order so mm -hmm. the latest that are the startups that are founded the early that that will be listed first so as you go further 
the old startups that you will find so once you apply all these filters what i will do is i what the major important thing for us in this data is the websites all this website is important because using this we are going to find the contact details of the finders or the key decision makers like directors like the directors um president managers etc right so i don't want all these uh, details right i just i'm concerned only about the website but all these startups are as per my requirement so what i will do is in the edit view section i will go uh, as you can see in the edit view if you don't know these are all the columns that you are seeing right now you can so they are now showing me company type operating system so you can add in this column so if you add description and apply changes um, you will see that the description of the companies are given so this is what the rows and columns are all about so but i don't want any of this i just want the website because this is very useful data i don't want other data because other data um, uh, is not of use for us to find the contact so now i could not remove organization name but if if what if it was possible i would have so so now i got now now i got the websites so this is what i'm going to use to find the contact details of the startup founders so what i'll do is i'll just copy so one question that uh, i will ask you if you have any solution about it please comment below so it will be helpful for all the community out there and what we are doing is nothing illegal so all the data that we are using is uh, publicly available so it's not like we are scrapping any data using third party software that is not allowed so data is available and we are just now what you do is just copy this data so you have to copy this data and you have to paste this um, you have to paste this data because you need only website and this is what i was trying to find the solution but i was not able to um, suppose i want only i just want to copy only the websites and not all these other things so is there any solution that we can do if you have then comment down below uh, that will be very helpful so what right now what i'm doing is i'm just copy pasting all this data uh, so i limited right by not um, by removing all the other columns i limited it because i just wanted the website so now we have website so what i will do is i will go to the um google sheet and i will just paste the data right so all, so now all this data that you are seeing i just want from this all this data i just want the website you can see the website uh, url i just want this so what you have to do is you have to clean this data right so that's why i, I was asking for a solution that where we only get the websites and not the um other data like um data mean company names so we don't want that we just want the uh, um url of the website so you have to clean it by applying filters so maybe you can do this or if you have any other solution then you can do that as well so what basically i will do is i will just apply filter over here and i will just remove all this data that is not available so so i'll just clear all this section and i will just type in one so all this data i don't want i will just select it i will type in two um, all this data i don't want i will select it i will type in three i will i don't want this data i will select them i type in four i will i don't want this data i will select them so this is what i will do uh, as you can see i applied the filter right now so i don't want this data because i just want the website url so i will just click on here and i will delete things delete the data um now i will again use the filter and again i will type in like five i don't want this data uh, i want six i don't want this data seven don't want or maybe so this is how i will clean the data but if you have any other idea to clean the data fast let me know so as you can or you can just delete it like manually you have to delete it like you have to just select this uh, data um, and this is where the time is get consumed right so this is what i want solution for but yeah so let me clean the data and get back to you so all you have to do is clean the data manually and just keep the uh, keep the url right you just keep the um, keep the urls right like the company url 
wizard.com etc so let me clean the data so as you can see that i have cleaned the data and i only kept all the urls right website domains i have kept so what i will do now once you have cleaned the data you can again you can uh, you know you can get you can click on the next option over here and again the same thing you have to repeat you have to copy the data in a google sheet and you have to clean that data uh, right and once the data is clean what we will do is we'll go to apollo so let me log in obviously you have to buy a plan of them uh, you have to purchase then a plan of pro version of 19 dollars that gives you 10,000 contact details or uh, data you can find so what i will go do is in the apollo i will go in the people section uh, now there are a lot of filters right if you haven't checked my apollo video apollo review then do check that video uh, i recently reviewed the tool and you can learn more about this tool um, i will give the link in the description also uh, talking about the in the left hand side all the filters that you can apply to find the contact details of the person uh, like if you can find a person working in USA uh, with CEOs working in USA in the B2B sector B2B industry so you can do that by using applying all these filters right so but what we need is we have a website so we need to find contact details uh, of a person using their company domain name so that option is there in the apollo.io so let's uh, see this section in the company section you can see in the company section what you have to do is click on this include exclude list so you have to include the list of domains so let me copy these domains that i have found so once you find find this domain what i have to do is click copy and paste this domains here right so what the software is, will do is it will find all the contact details of the people that are work that have emails with this domain so let's just click save and search so you can see we got all the contact details of the people you can see we found founders co-founders head of product that's it and make sure you use the filter of verified because you do not need emails that are that will bounce so you just need emails that that are 100 percent verified and you can send them so now also now if you require them to find only founders so you can use job title uh, like founders so i'll just use this title so i got all the founders of the startups so again i got 54 startups uh, founders that were as per our requirement so now all you have to do is um, save the contacts and export them right so i will just select them i will save them um, again i will select so total i got 54 founders uh, details so i will just select them save them so you can see in the saved section you have to go Let me filter you. You can see in the save section we have now 38 contacts. If you want to find more, you can do that. Let me save all of those contact details. let me refresh it so as you can see we have around 54 contact details now all i have to do is export them to an excel sheet click on the export button click on the download section now you have to just go to the crunch base uh, again now again of course you have to just upload this sheet to view the details contact details
that's it so you have all their email IDs now you can see all the founders email ID you have on one click now these are all the let me just make the sheet proper formatting should be done properly so as you can see Just as you can see, we have all the founders' details now. We have their industry, their LinkedIn profile, uh, their startup website, their company details, company LinkedIn URL, Facebook URL. They're all the details we have the amount of funding they have raised, their revenue. So, yeah, this was all about it. So, one more step if you like to do, although we have found these verified emails but there may be still some emails that may not be 100% verified so what you can do is um, just go to the gmarks so in the gmarks section what they have is um, they have a free tool email verification tool so Using this tool, you can again verify all your emails for free. So you all you have to do is just copy these emails and just paste these emails and just click on find email addresses. Now all this email you have to click on verify this email. So it will automatically verify all these emails. So you you will not send emails that are not valid or that are going to show some error or they might get bounced so as you can see the ver verification has started and all these emails are getting verified and they are valid so if they show it valid that means they are safe to send and that they will not bounce right so gmas provides you free email verification service uh, they are basically a mass email sending service but they have this side product that you can use for free uh, so yeah all the emails are valid so they are all safe to send right so if they are not safe uh, if they are not safe you will see your error unknown or something like that in a red color right so so that concludes our video and hope you like the video do subscribe to my youtube channel for more such um, useful videos related to SaaS, internet marketing and online money making